Watch you guys got another video on how to disable web results in Windows 10 search. Now, normally when you'd search in for items inside the search area here, it's connected to the internet and you will end up getting some sort of web results on the right hand side here, like so. Now, some people don't like that and some people do. And again, uh, when you're searching there, that means uh, there's data collecting as well with that being enabled. So some people prefer to have that turned off. But you can see here, all I've put in is how to turn. And basically, I'm getting a load of web results in there. Now, if you want to leave that on, that's all good. Uh, but if you want to disable it, I'll show you how to do that in this video. So what we're going to do here is first, what we're going to do is go down to the search box. And we're going to type reg edit and open up the registry editor. OK, so once we're in here, we're going to go H key current user drop the arrow down, go software, and then we're going to come down to where it says policies. And then there we're going to look for uh, policies here and then go to Microsoft. Inside there, we're going to Windows. Let me just drag that open a bit. Go to Windows. And we need to put a folder inside here called Explorer. There's not one inside here. So what I need to do is right click on the Windows folder here and we're going to create a new key just click on that and then put in here Explorer just like so and then once we've got that done we can now click on Explorer and then go to the right hand pane here and we're going to create a new D word value here so right click and then go to D word 32 bit value here now inside here we need to put in a name for this and we're going to call this disable search box suggestions inside here so just type that out and then we can enable that feature there to disable it. So let me just type this out for you. And basically once that's done, you can double click on this and it will open up the file and you can see there's a zero inside here. We're going to put a one in here and click OK. OK, that's now done. You will need to log off your PC or restart your PC for that to take uh, place but what we need to do here now is go down to the search box and we can now see there is no web results at the top here and if i start typing in what i typed in before you can see that the web results have now gone there's no web results for them on the right hand side here they've been disabled so that's one way of doing that but you can also do more inside the group policy editor as well and i'll show you some more stuff in the registry in a second to do the bing as well so let me go ahead and open up the group policy editor and we're going to go to computer configuration then administrative templates then windows components inside here we're going to drag this down to where it says search and once we get into the search area we can disable a bunch of features in here this is for Windows 10 Pro users and above. So if you've got a Windows 10 Pro system, you may want to do it this way. It's a lot more easier. Do not allow web search. That's what we want. So go into here and enable that feature and apply an OK. And that will do the same thing. Also, there's all Katana inside here. If you wanted to disable all of the Katana stuff, you can go in here and uh, disable all of her features as well. And the reason why I say that is because obviously with that being on the internet, cloud search and stuff like that, you can disable all that if you wish by just going through and uh, turning these off or disable them in here. So I'm just going to do that. You can see allow cloud search here as well. And I'm going to also enable this one here. And if you do enable, you should be able to do the drop down and say disable cloud search and that will completely disable that there is a toggle switch inside the settings area for that as well but it's much easier to control it from group policy editor also i'm just going to quickly do a couple of these other ones here for cortana as well you can see she's grown over the years there's quite a few more uh, entries inside here there's a few more here i can do so i'm just going to look here allow cortana page in oobe and i'm just going to disable that as well and again just looking through here I can see a few more things here allow search and Cortana to use location if you don't want that to happen you can also disable uh, that one as well so 
let me just go ahead and do that here so click OK and there's a couple of other little areas here we can take care of let me just have a little quick look through here and here's another one here so I'm just going to quickly uh, disable this one as well you can do these ones if you wish if you want to leave these ones alone you can do these are not really related to what I've already done but I'm just adding these in just to uh, show you what else you can disable don't search the web or display web results in search and you can also do this one as well and you can enable or disable that if you disable this policy it will uh, disable that for you and then go into this next one below here you can see there is another one here so i'm just going to do this one as well and again this one is for disabling the web or display web results in search over meter connections as well so let me just quickly uh, do this one and we can move on to the last bit which is another registry edit which you might want to do if you're on a windows 10 home system and that will be related to the uh, bing search so i'm just going to do that one as well so i think we've got all of those in there we can close this off and move on to uh, the registry editor as well and do one more there for you so just go down here and you can see here the web area has been removed here there's a little web tab up the top here you can see it's been disabled and removed if that's what you want to do so let me go ahead and type in here reg edit to open up the registry editor one more time and what we're going to do here is going to go to h key current user here and then open this up and we're going to go back to software and from there we're going to go microsoft and then we're going to go down a little bit further here to where it says windows open this one up and in current version open that up there and then what we're looking for here it's going to come down a little bit here and look for search now inside here we can add in a couple of more keys and i'll do this here this is for the bing in case you're on windows 10 home so I'm going to right click on this and we're going to create a new word D word value. So let's go new D word 32 bit value here. And we're going to put in here Bing search enabled. And basically put that in like so. And we can leave that as zero here because that will turn that off. We leave the value as zero. We're going to do another one here D word 32 bit value. And we want to name this one allow search to use location. And of course, once you've uh, left that there, we can put zero in there and this will disable uh, that feature. So let me just quickly type that out. I'll leave the D zero default in there. We don't need to change those. But if you do want to change it, you can click on uh, these here and put whatever uh, you want in there, one or zero. So I'm going to do another one here. And this one's going to be called Cortana consent and we're going to also leave that one as zero as well so that's important and you can change these if you want to and remove them and delete them if you don't need them but basically that's what you would do if you're on a home system as well you can do that as a pro user as well if you wish but those are the three there and that should uh, resolve that problem as well now that's basically how you can disable the web results inside windows 10 search now if you do like to use those features by all means leave those features alone and you'll be able to use the web search inside your search box there but if you're one of those people that don't like those types of features and the way they uh, work on windows 10 then by all means you can use this method to disable those options available inside windows 10 and whether you're on windows 10 or windows professional this method should work perfectly fine for you. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.